Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Amy and today I'm going to be doing a date night look for y'all. And we're going to be using the Naked Smoky Palette. Now they have two Smoky Palettes from Urban Decay. And this is one, this is the other. Today I think I'm just going to use this one. I was looking at this one and I was like, do I want to use any of these colors? I'm not sure. This is, I'm dropping it. This is what it looks like on the inside of that smoky one. But I think we're going to stick with this smoke from the Naked Collection. I think that's what we're going to stick with. So to get started, I actually have everything else done uh, because smoky eye, even though for me they're relatively easy, can take a little bit of time just with blending. So with this I have primed my eyelids with the Urban Decay Primer. I'm going to go into this nude color called Combust. It's like a pink nude and I'm just using that to lay down just to make sure that my primer isn't sticky because with this harsh of a color I'm going to use I really don't want any kind of patchiness with that whatsoever. So I'm going to go in with a BH number 8. It's just a stubby. What am I doing? Zoom you in. Zoom you in. You're like oh my god I'm not going to watch you anymore. <laughs> We're going to use this little stubby guy. We're going to go into 13 which is just a literally chalk white color and I'm just patting that underneath my brow bone. I'm not worried about this being blended out yet. I'm not worried about it because it doesn't need to be blended out yet. I'm not worried about it. I want it right there just the way I have it and we're gonna look just like this and this is the end of the video. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay so the next color we're gonna go into is let me get a smaller tapered blush. Blush? A blush? Am I doing that already today? I'm dropping stuff and I'm already saying blush. So yeah, I guess this is, this is the direction the video is going. Alright, we're going to use this brown color called Whiskey. On this tapered Visanti contour eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to keep this because you, you need to be a little self-contained with the smoky eye. It's like on one end you want it to be messy and on the other you need to be a little precise with what you're doing or it can get out of control fast. So I'm just putting this really it's in my crease but right above my natural crease also because I have some hooding on my eyes especially the outer portion of my eye I really like to take some stuff above the crease and not keep it in my crease where my hooded eye ladies at? Yeah, it's a pain in the A, isn't it? It's a pain in the ASS. Okay, so that's what you want that to look like for this moment. And I'm going to take a uh, Luxie 121 Mini Tapered. It's just a teeny little blender. And I'm just going to softly blend those edges out. Just want to blend and you see how that is diffusing really nicely. You didn't have to lay it down with a big brush. You just want to lay it down with a tight little brush like that and then diffuse the color out like that so that it looks nice and whoosh. You know, you know how I am with sound effects. That's, that's how I'm explaining it to you. <laughs> and so that's what you want it to look like. You want it to look nice and feathered out nice and floofy if that is a word it's a word because I said it <laughs> so we're gonna do the same and with this eye look I'm not bringing this out I'm not dragging the color out and up and doing like a wing shape with the shadow I really just want to keep it kind of domed above my eye like I said a lot of times with smoky eyes they can get out of control kind of quickly and you really just want to kind of keep it contained to an area Unless you're pretty experienced with makeup, you really don't want to try to take it out all over the place, you know. So, on a clean, it's not super clean. I mean, it's got a little product on it from this week already. I'm just lightly going in and just making sure that these edges are diffuses, diffused, diffuses. I'm not trying to actually carry color anywhere else like I did with the blending I just did. I actually just want to make sure everything is soft. And everything is mellowed 
together. That's why we're not putting any product on this brush and we're not trying to move the product that we already laid down anywhere. Just trying to make sure everything is nice and nice. Am I Mike Tyson? I think so. <laughs> nice and smooth. All right. Now for this one, the black that they have in here uh, just looks like this. Now it looks like it has, it doesn't look like a matte black. It looks like it's got just a little bit of shimmer and it looks a little patchy if I'm being honest. Yeah, that's got some flecks of glitter in it. So I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use the black out of this smoked palette, which I'm glad I brought it. I just zipped it back up. And this black in here is called Blackout. It's a matte black. We're going to use that to lay down on our eye. Now I'm going to get a flat packing brush. Let's use, what about this little guy? This is the Vintage Cosmetic Company, step one for the money. It's just a little flat guy like that. I'm just going to pack that color onto my brush, tap it off. And I'm going to start applying that and kind of patting and swiping motions because I don't want a ton of fallout on my face. I feel like this one I don't have so much of a problem with fallout with, but you never know. Now I'm adding a second layer for intensity. You don't have to do that, but I'm doing that because I do want that intense black. I said that and then it fell out on my face. And that is so black. I, if I'm using something black, eyeliner, mascara, eyeshadow, I want it to be black. I want it to be as black as it can. Otherwise, it's just not what I want. So this, I wouldn't always do this for a date night. But I am today because I want a little bit of a sultry, kind of sexy kind of look. You know what I mean? That's what I'm going for today. And I haven't done a straight up black smoky eye in a while. We're just packing that color and making sure that it's on, 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 on. And completely the same opacity all the way through. And while I'm using this little guy, be careful. I'm just taking a little right up to the lash line. I'm not going to go all the way in. If you go all the way in with a dark shadow, it's going to close your eye off and it's going to make it look smaller. You don't want that. Unless you have gigantic eyes, then you may want that. I do not want that. So you want to keep it on the inner the farthest I would go is halfway, but I'm not even going halfway. And so that's, we've got the blackness that I want, the intensity of the blackness that I want. And now I'm going to go in with this. Nope, actually let's take the Vasanti again. And I'm going to go in with this color Radar, which is like a, like a medium brown with some shimmer in it. And I'm going to take that just exactly where the black ends for a little bit of blendiness. Just exactly where it ends. And we're going to do it on the other eye. Of course, every time we have to do dates on different days and not just on the weekend because the weekend is some of my busiest time. So we have to plan our dates throughout the week if we're going to do it. And of course, it's raining literal cats and dogs outside. And my hair is like up and I have like mousse all in it trying to keep the frizzies down because it looks like a, just everything's sticking up everywhere. Just the amount that it's raining and storming. Hmm, makes me mad. So I'm also going to take that radar color and I'm going to go really lightly underneath the eye with it. Make sure I have to clean up after this because I've got a little bit of that black fallout on my face. I'm going about halfway in with that color. You 
really taking my time to try to carefully apply that. I feel like this one has a little bit more on this side. We're going to add a little more. Okay. Now, let me put this brush up. I'm going to go back in with a, what is this? A BH number no. 9 brush. This part doesn't really matter what kind of brush you use. I'm just going to go back in and use those cream shades to reapply. I just got it all on my eyebrow, but it's all right. You can just use a little spoolie and brush it out. I'm going to reapply those nude colors because when I'm doing a smoky eye, to me, if you don't keep this area above the color beneath your brow light, it just ends up becoming really muddy and really messy and it just it's not as cute as it could be. Now I'm just making sure those shades are blended together just like this. Okay, now we're going to get a little bit of this, and this is actually a really easy eye look. You're really only using a few colors. It's not difficult. Um, let me get a brush. Let me use a kind of dense brush. I don't know what this is. I don't know what the name on it. Knock some of that off. And I had a feeling that that could happen. So I actually brought my concealer over here with me, just in case it did. And where is a concealer brush? We're going to take my concealer. I don't see where my concealer brush is, so we're just going to use this big old Luxie foundation brush. It's all right. Same, same diff, right? Just a little bigger. Just applying some concealer where I have a little bit of dark fallout. You really want to do your foundation either last or you want to hold a tissue or something under your eye to keep that from happening. I actually didn't have my little tissue with me. I thought I brought it with me, but I didn't. We're just using that to lighten back underneath of our eyes. I love Luxie brushes. This is the softest thing. I wouldn't use this for foundation like it's recommended for, but it is so soft. Okay. Now you have a couple directions you can go from here. If you want to dazzle it up a little bit and make it a little brighter, you can always add a little bit of shimmer on the top. You could take a color like some of these these shimmery silvers and add it on the top and really lighten it up a little bit. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. I don't know. I'm going to use a pencil brush and I'm going to take this color high. It's like a pinky, I don't know, I don't know what that is. It's like a pinky silver color. I'm just going to put that in the inner corner. And I actually brought a couple of my Stila uh, metal shadows, what are they called? What are they called? Stila Glitter and Glow. Look what eyeshadows, because I was thinking I might want to tap it on the center of my eye. I'm not sure yet. I'm actually not going to do that yet, just until I see how this look turns out as a whole with mascara on. So, I'm going to go ahead and line my waterline with the Sugar Cosmetics Coal of Honor Intense Kajal Pencil. I'm going to line it. I'm going to tight line if I can figure out what words are. And then I'm going to line my water line. And I'm going to blink a couple of times so that whatever transfers I can go ahead and reapply. Shouldn't be too much because I lined my upper line also. But I like to do that just because sometimes it still transfers. All right, next we're going to move on to eyelashes. Like I said, we're going to see how this looks before I go and start adding maybe shimmer or something like that. I don't know if I'm going to or not. 
I'm gonna make sure we get all that black off our face. I'm gonna curl my lashes. Of course, I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm always like, huh? When I don't see people curl their lashes. I would not be able to not do that. I don't know. Mine don't necessarily like hang down or anything, but I don't know. I just, I like them curled. So let's take my shocking better than sex Too Faced mascara. I really need to start using a different mascara and stop talking about it and do it. I'm going to start applying mascara. And you know, I'm going to do two coats. So I've already got my foundation done, my concealer. I'm wearing the Maybelline Fit Me and uh, foundation. I'm wearing the, I just touched that to my nose. I'm wearing the Age Rewind Concealer. Or am I wearing, the, okay, no, I'm wearing the Clay Stick Concealer, but I just added some of that Age Rewind on the top. I'm using Mellow Cosmetics in my brows because I'm really liking that pencil lately. I have on, I'm using the Pacifica Contour and Blush, and I'm really actually liking it a lot. It's really similar to the Hula from Benefit, and the blush is really pretty also. It's got like a sheen to it, if you can kind of see that. And I just touched the side of my face too. I'm a mess. Um, so I brought some face powder out here with me today because I've been having to wear the smallest amount of face powder here in the last couple of days because the heat and the humidity where I live are going to be the death of me. Let me get this mascara off my nose. You know how I do it. Super simple. Take a Q-tip and just little motions like this. Let's see if I have any on my eyes. I didn't get it on my eyes today, but I got it on my face. Really? Um, let's see. This is how it's so intense you can't even see my mascara. I like it. Let me get that off my face right there. And like I said, it's been so humid and freaking hot that my face has been like an oil slick and it's been driving me crazy. So I've been using the teensiest, tiniest amount of powder on my t-zone which is really the only place i need it and this brush is the what's it what is it moda it's from moda cosmetics it looks like this and it has the flimsiest like br bristles ever like they're not dense at all and it's literally for me it's been perfect with applying just the just the lightest amount of powder because i really don't like looking powdered ever and that has really been helpful using that tapered and that long of a brush when normally when I would use powder I would use a really fluffy brush but I like that better let me zoom you guys in on the eyes so you can see what the eyes look like it's just got a little bit of shimmer to it from that one color we use to blend the black and the brown that light brown color that's what that looks like. I'm going to zoom you out a little bit because I'm actually going to warm my face up just a little with my Pure Bronze and Brighten. Uh, what's it called? Bronze and Brighten. That's what it's called. And we're going to take a... The one I like to use is the BH Number 2 brush. Just a big old fluffy like this that I like to use for my bronzing. And I have a tutorial with bronzing and such I'll put up here if you want to see that it's like a bronzing and highlighting how I do it tutorial and I also have an in-depth contour tutorial that I'll link up here if you want to see something like that because I've already got my contour done like I said and so I'm just gonna Deepen it around my cheeks and temples, top of the forehead, and whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going to run right here. Just 
just like that. And now I'm going to take the highlight from this palette and I'm going to take this little tiny Luxie 111 mini flat angled brush. Just looks like that. And I'm going to add that on top of that little silver color that I had. Right there. Just a little right here. A little on Cupid's bow, the philtrum. Yeah, that's called a philtrum. <laughs> Why do I know that? I don't know. I don't know. And I'm going to take, of course, my favorite highlighting brush, if I can find it, my Luxie 522 Tapered Highlighter Brush, and I'm just going to hit the high points of my face. I like doing it right here. And like I said in that glowy, bronzy video, I show you exactly where I like to highlight. And I do some highlighting here, decolletage area, such and such. I do a, just a little on my chin. I really like to keep the center, this this like triangle of my face right here. I really like to keep that area free of shine besides my nose. Like I don't bring my highlight over here like you see so many people do. Like, no. I'm not bringing my highlight that far over. It does not look good on me. All right, and just for a little zhuzhing, I'm gonna add a little to my collarbone. Z, my collarbone z have more than one. <laughs> just like that. Sometimes I like to take just a wee bit and add it right here. Kind of draws attention. Just a little right there and a little on this shoulder and also in that glowy video like I said I bring it all the way down there and I show you all that good stuff and how to do your whole decolletage area and all that fancy schmancy stuff now I'm gonna take my ready set radiant from Tarte and I'm gonna smell it because I have to and I like to try to keep this on the outside of the face. I'm going to show you guys how I've been lightly powdering my face just because I really don't ever powder. Um, I either use this or the Lura, Lura. I bet her name's not Lura, but I said it was, so maybe it is. Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier. Yeah, that girl. <laughs> that girl's powder. Or she's a woman, whatever. Or the Pretty Vulgar. Does it say? The powder room. Matte about it is what it's called. Really cute little packaging. I really like it. And it comes with this big old powder puff in it that reminds me of like an older movie or something. Like when you see ladies in the powder room and stuff. I'm not going to use it because it's too big, but I like it. It's cute to have. And I'm going to barely my tip in like that. And I'm going to tap most of it off. And I'm literally just, and like I said, this brush is so flimsy that it really just applies the right amount without making me cakey looking. I'm really liking this brush for that. I'm glad I just randomly picked it up and tried it for that. Okay. So like I said, if I'm not using this powder, it's the Laura Mercier powder. And I can say it right that time. Okay. But, like I said, I wouldn't normally wear powder, but I'm needing it right now because I am a hopping sweaty mess. I'm going to comb through my eyebrows just where I got a little bit of that powder in them. And now we're going to move to lips. I almost said that we were finished. We are not finished. I have not done the lips. So, for this look, I really want to take something pretty nude. We're going to use this Bodyography lip liner in Barely There. Got a line. Now I'm going to fill them just a little. Just a little bit because this, this pencil isn't the creamiest. I don't really want to try to fill all of my lips with it.
like I said, I don't really overline because it doesn't look very good on me. No. I look a hot mess when I do it. Okay. I really like that color, though. I wish this formula wasn't so dry. Let's see if I can fill in a little with it. It is so dry. It's like dragging ugh, your lips like ugh, like that, you see? But it's such a pretty color. It would be perfect for this. Okay. Now, I am going to take a little bit of my uh, Smashbox gloss and pout. It's a more of a pink color, but I'm not really using it for color. I'm using it just to blend out that lip liner a little bit. I mean, obviously it is going to deposit some color. Okay. I like how that color looks. And we're going to leave it at that and we're not going to mess with it again. I'm going to have to refix my hair because it's just, it's a mess from, like I said, from the humidity. I'm going to curl my pony a little bit so it's not so bleh. And I got to re, re get this hair to lay down because it looks a mess. But let me zoom you out a little bit. This is the finished look for date night. He better like it or else, <laughs> or else what? Just or else. This is the finished eyes, which I've already kind of showed you. Finished skin. Lips. I really like that blush and contour I'm using. I really like it. I have a few things from Pacifica, but I don't really ever like gravitate towards the stuff I have. But I think I might. But this is it. And I hope you guys like it. And I hope you guys have a great day. And like this video. Comment. Subscribe. Subscribe. If you subscribe, let me tell you what you're in for. More videos. <laughs> uh, yeah, subscribe. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!